Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some small land today. It's a nice morning here, and all of the ladybugs are coming out to play. Um, first of all, uh, I'll kind of address the elephant in the room. Um, I am so, so sorry that this is uh, already how long it's been since the last episode. I really was hoping that I would be getting out a lot of episodes here of Small Land uh, right at release, and here it has been, um, I believe, well over a week since our last Small Land episode. Um, but, as I had said, I'm still going to be kind of prioritizing our Grounded and Raft playthroughs right now, since that's what we had already established, and we've already got a good schedule going with those. Um, but I do still want to keep going with small land as we can fit it in, but just, uh, kind of... Oh boy, we've got... we got a bull ant trying to bully our ladybugs. Um... Um, but yeah, just, uh, you know... Real life stuff has been... Kind of getting in the way... Of, uh, doing extra recordings right now. So, oh, I'm hitting the wrong key to pick things up. That's why that's not working. Um, this is the problem with playing a bunch of different games at once, is I have, like, half of them use E, half of them use F to interact and pick things up. Uh, it's just a big struggle. Uh, but yeah, anyway, regardless of all of that, I am indeed back today. Um, oh, and just like, uh, the whole E versus F, some things use shift click. Uh, and some things use control click to fast move items uh, into chests. Uh, so let's see if I can put some more of this stuff away. I don't know that I can. Uh, so let's just eat that real quick because I think we're going to need to eat a little bit more anyway. So let's eat a little mushroom steak. And I think that we can get the day going. So, if I do remember correctly, where we left off last time was we had just made our, uh, our chitin axe. And that should let us build, uh, some new stuff, uh, or chop some new stuff, that is. Um, and then hopefully we can get, um, maybe some of these new materials that we need. Uh, to build some other stuff. And then I think also today, if at all possible, we might like to climb a tree. Um, so I think those were our two main goals, if I do remember correctly. Um, so really, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, I think kind of as per usual, I might kind of chop a few things like mushrooms along the way uh, just because having a steady food supply is important um, oh, we don't have a lot of arrows right now that could be concerning but hopefully it won't be anything too bad I'm just gonna try to wait well actually I think that was one of the plants we can chop now so maybe I will go deal with these ants um oh and did we get a spear last time too I don't think we got to try our spear out oh that takes care of them nicely There we go. All right, I'll take that ant head as well. Not bad at all. Um, so yeah, let's see if this is something we can chop now. Needs a crude hatchet or better. Is that what I have? Well, let's get a little closer. It is what I have. All right. We've got some wood and some petals and a little bit of fiber. All right, so that's a better way to get wood. Um, let's go see what else we can chop. I think that there was more interesting stuff over here across the little creek. So let's try running over here. 
We can say hello to the grasshopper if he's hanging around. Uh, but maybe... Oh, there he is. I think last time we actually discovered the food that the grasshopper likes. Um, and we might be able to tame the grasshopper soon. Um, Alright, the rye we were able to harvest already, but it doesn't hurt to gather more. Alright, now you. Are you better taken on with the spear? Uh, no. You're better with a sword. Alright. Um, Alright, so... This mauve plant? That's our new one that we just discovered. It gives us wood, petals, and fiber, although that one didn't give us any petals. This one did, though. And then I think that there was that garlic um, plant, like the garlic grass or something, uh, just up the hill to our left a little bit further. Hopefully we can chop that one as well. I don't remember what we needed it for. But I remember that there were some recipes that called for it. But for now, it's just the good old resource gathering game. Everybody's favorite. Leave that ant alone for the moment. Uh, is this a new one? Hedge garlic, there we go. Oh, but this ant wants to tussle. There we go. Alright, was this our garlic? Yeah. Keep chopping it down. Alright, so we got garlic leaf, which lets us make a pixie omelet. And garlic pudding. Maybe that's what it was mostly for, was a bunch of uh, cooking recipes. Oh no, it's the Sawyer beetle. Oh, this guy is, I think, weak to the spear. Come on! It has good attack speed, at least. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and put a bandage on. We're getting a bit low here. Alright, there is some more garlic. Um, wait, what was that? Oh, it's just the sprout. Let's maybe grab a bit more of this garlic. And what is that? Oh, that's a dragonfly. Okay. Um, but I don't really want to risk getting swarmed by those ghost ants or whatever the heck they were. So maybe we should just run back home real quick. Because boy, does it get dark out here. Um, I'll have a sword in hand as well. Oh, yep, see, there they are. Bandage! Oh, not enough. Okay. Yeah, okay. We should have headed home sooner. Dark falls fast in this game. Um, let's go ahead and just sleep real quick while we're invisible. And we'll just go get our stuff in the morning. Luckily, I don't think there seems to really be too much of a penalty to dying other than the inconvenience and the humiliation. Um, 
Hopefully that storm isn't one of the, like, I'm gonna kill you storms. Um, I didn't get the warning of seek shelter, so I think we might be okay. But I'm very skeptical. Why is this glowing so much? Um, alright. Well, we should have our, our sad little tombstone up here somewhere. Well, we can take our anger out on this bull ant. And there we go. Uh, let's take everything and let's go ahead and just drop this all off back at home and we'll see what else we can make with it. Um, honestly, the, uh, the storm is kind of atmospheric. And you know what? Since this is right in our path, we'll take down another mob plant. Oh, and this one even gave us petals. Yeah, I think that grasshopper wants to be our friend. So that needs to happen sooner rather than later. Oh, that was close. Hello, ladybugs. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, the ants are swarming. Anymore? Usually there's three. Oh, well, we're just gonna go home. Hello, home. Um, alright, we've just got random stuff on the floor. That's good. Okay. Um, does that just automatically store things? I think that might be new, if that's true. Uh, it looks like it is, although I think it just takes random things from your inventory, which is not exactly what I would like that button to do. Um, that's interesting. Okay, I would like our hatchet back. I would like my stakes back. Um, all right. Sure, we've got the appropriate tools here. Building hammer. What else am I missing up top? Uh, oh, I guess our sword would go up top and our torch, which we can put away so we don't waste. Um, all right, let's see what else we can make now. The recurve bow needs silk thread, which we don't know about yet. Uh, the Ladybug Travel Kit needs Nectar, which we don't know about yet. Um. And I think that we've made basically everything else at the workbench. The Stone Cutter. Um. I think we need Flint for basically everything else. So I think that leaves us with basically the, uh, not the campfire, the cauldron. Um, and yeah, so I think this is how, this is what we were wanting, where we can make basically better recipes. Oh, that's what we needed the petals for. Um, so we could, I think, maybe tame the grasshopper with the grasshopper treat. I mean, I might wait on it for the moment, um, but that's kind of cool. Do we actually have what we need? I think we do. That is good to know. Um, all right, I am going to, I think, store. Oh, I'm not storing. I'm dumping on the ground again. Um, there we go. It is. 
Oh, no, okay. It's not a control click or a shift click. It's just right click. Uh, there we go. That moved everything. And how are we doing here? So, we need to eat some food. Um, that is much better. And then maybe do some exploring. Uh, so, the saplings require a flint hatchet. Um, I think we got everyone there. All right. Um, so let's see about maybe starting to climb a tree. Uh, storm approaches seek shelter. Just kidding. Well, maybe we'll see what other cooking we can do. Um, all right. I think there was also something else maybe at the campfire? Yeah, it was the pixie omelette. There we go. So that also needs nectar, which we don't have. Um, let's see, let's see. I've got edible mushrooms. And I think I might need... We can grab our insect fat. Um... Our beetle hearts, our eggs, our berries, and maybe the petals and the garlic. Let's see if that gives us what we need to make some stuff. Apparently that's only enough for the fey chowder. Um, do I have... I might have enough for poisonous mushroom, but it doesn't really do much for us. Um, but it does heal creatures. That's kind of cool. Uh, I guess most all of this does. Um, we need flour for that, honey for that, and that, and that. And seed oil for the grasshopper tree. Well, we can make some fey chowder. Well, there we go. We made a bunch of that, and that should be... That is much better for us, even, than... Our mushrooms. And then, if we go to our campfire, we can go ahead and make a few more mushrooms. And then let's go ahead and just put the rest of this stuff away. And maybe we should repair some tools. Um, Alright, so we need some fiber, wood, and resin. Just need one. Oh wait, I actually needed two. Fiber, wood, and resin. All right, back to repair, boom, boom, and boom. There we go, now everything is all healed up. We've got some tasty foods. Our health is back to full. We are nearly full on food. And our comfort has basically always been at half. I should make arrows, though. We're just gonna only ever make it, like, 50 steps out of our door. I'm just teasing you guys with the actual tree exploration. Come on. There we go. Um, do arrows just take wood? Uh, wood and fiber, it seems. 
at a 3 to 2 ratio. So, if I take all that and all that, I'll just make a few sets. There we go. That should hopefully be plenty. And let's, uh, do that, I think. Yeah, there we go. Close that, please. Thank you. Oh, no, it's raining on us now. I feel like it's going to be nighttime way faster than I want it to. I'm being chased by an ant. Definitely hear something. Uh, oh, we have Rye right here by the house. That is good to know. Um, let's see, let's see. How can I get up farther? That hurt more than I wanted it to. Okay. Well, those look promising, but I don't think I can, uh, jump that high. We do have another Sawyer beetle here. Ooh, that is a weak shot. Oh, wow. That was... that was a powerful hit. Okay. I accidentally pulled my bow out there when I was trying to just block and things started going poorly for me. But it worked out in the end. Uh, we haven't really explored out this direction very much. Um... This is looking a bit more promising out this way. I wonder if that's where the Sawyer Beetle lives in that little... Cave! That's an ant. We need our trusty sword for this guy. There we go. Uh, ooh, we got another Sawyer Beetle. Um, I mean, I don't see the harm in just going for more of these guys. Let's see if my archery can be a little better. Oh, just too high. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it moved! Another storm, really? We're never going to be able to do anything in this game. Maybe this is just like a springtime thing. And it'll be better in other seasons. But yet again, I'm feeling like I like a lot of things about this game and I was really excited to hop on and play today. And immediately the storms are annoying me. Yes, I see you too, Bullant. I'm just choosing to ignore you. Because I gotta get home. Which I think is right up here. Ish. Uh, no. We went all the way to the path.
There we go. Woo! Just in time. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Let's store everything. Uh, it's a little weird to me that it also kicks you out of that menu. Once you're done storing things. Uh, but that is, you know, that's a minor inconvenience. All things considered. Uh, what would it take to make some more bandages? That might be smart. Just fiber. We can do that. There we go. And then anything else that we need. Wait, I'm trying to... There we go. Um, I think... Yes, the clouds disperse. Perfect. Now, hopefully we can explore. Let's, uh, let's eat a little meal. Let's just have a mushroom, because we don't need to use a whole chowder at the moment. Um, we'll come back up through this way. We've gone this way before, and this is at night, that is. This is where we had our first ghost ant encounter. Ooh. Um, let's get some more strawberries. Oh, I have the wrong tool out. Can't exactly harvest them with a bow. Yes, can I have it please? Thank you. My problem is I keep getting distracted in this game. And so I'm never going to make it anywhere because I'm just like, ooh, I want to gather this. Again, my hoarding instincts are just too strong. My, oh my, that is a nice gathering of ants. Um, but all right, I'm gonna try to get myself up this tree. Hello there, butterflies. Is that where you live? Oh, too high. No, I want the stuff! But then I have to go all the way back down there. Mm, it's not worth it. Ooh, can I make it? I can. Okay. Oh, no. Hmm. That was not a great move. So I am curious on these trees if you are going to have to build your way up or if they are meant to just be climbable. Maybe I just, uh, I mean, I think that I just executed that poorly, is my answer, but, my guest answer. But hey, uh, the thing is, I just really wanted to come down for this butterfly's stuff, and that gave me an excuse to do so. Um, and it looks like I have to go back up here to get my gravestone. Hmm, and it's about to be nighttime. I don't necessarily love this situation. But we'll make the best of it. Ow! Ow! 
There we go. Is there any anything else that it dropped? No. Okay. All right, let's take everything. That's much better. I want to be able to, like, grab onto this somehow. Aha! There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we did it again. Ha! Huh. Now, how do I get up to that mushroom? This, this is, this is going to be painful. Um, let's see if we can get through most of the night, at least. Maybe. Um, and maybe repair our bow. Uh, we need wood and fiber. Do some repairs. There we are. <laughs> I made it through the night faster than the ladybugs could even make it home and back out. That's funny. Okay. No, I, I'm not dealing with you right now, ants. It's not happening. It might have to happen. By the end of this, we're going to be very good at getting up and down this tree. I realized I never just kind of looked over here. This is a wild looking area. Hello again, butterflies. I think that's kind of what I did last time, was just... Just that kind of a thing. I'm just trying not to... It's an awkward... An awkward jump, for sure. There we go. Alright, and I'm not going to sprint. Alright, take all. Let's come back down a little bit. Yeah, and that is too much. Is this... Where's my crouch? There's crouch. Can I, can I get around here? I can't even... see... myself. Hmm... This this is problematic. Um Oh gosh. All right. All right. We're eating and healing. Let's let's have some chowder. That'll help us heal. And maybe there's a better way up this tree, too. Like, I feel like that is a good way. But I want to see if we can do this without building. Because I just want... I, I, I need to know. Is there a way over here? Whoa, there's a balcony over here. Hello there, person. Oh, that's not a person, it's a statue. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it that you wish, Vanguard? 
I want to claim this tree and move my tree encampment here. Or leave. Um, well, for now, let's claim this tree. Uh, and make your encampment. You must climb to the top of a great tree and speak to me there. Okay. Well, let's do some climbing. Yeah, this looks like a much nicer way up. But yeah, I had heard that you can, um, like, build a base on top of a tree, and then claim a different tree, and your base will move with you. So, that is kind of cool. Um... All right. Yeah, this is this is going so much better. I feel like that other way is a just just baiting you. Um, all right, this I don't think is the way we're supposed to go, but like I have to. Like that's just so neat. We can just climb out on branches. This is something that like grounded never never had. We can't really go up the oak tree. Now, I would like a dandelion tuft or something to let myself float down nicely. Um... Oh, there we go. More stairs on this side. Just keep going. The little automatic mantling is very, very nice. This gives your jump almost, like, extra height. Okay, now do we keep mushrooming, or do we go on the little twisty? Let's try the twisty. Oh, almost... Oh, do we even not have to do this, like, the tedious way now anymore? Hello. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What do you wish? I want to claim this tree. <gasps> I have claimed this great tree. Your tree in Kamet is private. Whoa. This is so nice. Well, that's cool. And we still have, like, branches and stuff up here that we can, uh, come out and explore off of, although that is terrifyingly high. Um, alright, let's go see what this little hot air balloon is all about. Because I have no materials to build right now, so there's not really any use building up here. Hello, tree butler. Hello, Vanguard. Um, I'd like to ask you something about the Great Tree. Um, well, I'm playing solo, so I don't really care about that. Um, if you guys end up playing this, you can ask him yourself. Um, but I want to save some time. Uh, can I prevent another smoke? Can I take my encampment? Uh, you certainly can't. All you need to do is find another Great Tree that has not been claimed. And claim that in the same way that you've done here. Your encampment will be instantly transferred. How is that even possible? <laughs> there are things beyond our understanding. Uh, any more important 
Uh, no. Alright, so that's all that we really need to know for our solo world. So let's go down. And we can admire some crazy looking views on our way. Those are some interesting... There's like some red plants over there. Alright, and so he's just going to bring us to the, uh, where we first talked to our gnome. Right down here. That is good to know. And can I just jump off this side? I cannot. That is also good to know. Alright. Well, with that information in mind, I feel like we almost need to have, like, a tiny base at the foot of the tree. And then we can build up top our, like, real base. Um, and then the cool thing is we can always move trees if we find a tree we like better. So, wait, is that a bunch of strawberries? At least some of it is. Oh my, but that's also like a bunch of hornets. Bunch of strawberries, what's this? Honey crumble, we needed that. Uh, wait, where is it? We have it. Nice. Very good. Um, oh, there's more over here. I just don't want to get too swarmed by bees. And then, what is this? Oh, there's like a picnic table. Um, a poppy. Let's see what we get from poppies. I'm guessing just like petals and fiber? Petal fi- Oh, that's where we get the nectar. Okay. Well, there's some good stuff over here. More honey crumbles. And is this stuff anything, or is it just decorative? It is just some wonderful world building. Okay. Um, now, I'm curious. On our map, cool, it shows our tree... Very good. Um, alright. I do want to stay away from that guy for now. What is going on right here? That looks like either unloaded or unfinished textures or something. Alright, sir. You need to go away. Yeah, like, this area does not, like, match the rest of the game's lushness. That's kind of strange. Again, I don't know if, like, something just didn't want to load, or... It's kind of odd. Uh, but again, early access. It's only had, like, one kind of what I would consider legitimate update. Um, which just happened the other day. Um, ooh, blackberries over here. Um, uh, that update was just a few kind of quality of life things, um, especially regarding, um, like some server rules and stuff for people. Um, who do multiplayer. Uh oh, I see a spider, I see a spider. Okay, it's actually, like, kind of cute. I might be crazy, but... That's kind of a cute spider, but that's not a cute ant. I keep trying to pull out my bow when I'm 
intending to block, and that's not good. Alright, um, I'll keep taking these honey crumbles. Oh, I'm like right by a bull ant den right now or something. Um, alright, so it looks like that is another great tree. And that might be where these, like, hornets live. Let's, uh, let's harvest some more stuff. And we should at least build ourselves, like, a small shelter down at the base of the great tree, just in case, like, you know, we need to, like, run somewhere in the event of one of these storms that keeps popping up on us. And then, if we have leftover material, we can take it to the top of the tree and work on a proper base up there. some resin. Uh-oh. Speaking of storms. Um, I think, yeah. Our tree is, I'm like stuck in that. Our tree is this way. Yeah, I think that's it right there. I at least want to be nearby. Maybe we just try to keep gathering stuff. We at least haven't had the warning about get to cover yet. I was nervous I was going to say that and then immediately get it. This way, I'm gonna see if I can grab some before we have to head in. Gotta be able to make that fancy wood, you know? Although I think we're gonna need a, uh, a new stone cutter and stuff and we don't have any stone right now. So that will be a bit of an obstacle. So we'll either have to go rob stuff from our current starter house, or just harvest some more. And I don't mind just getting some more, because I think having a few little shelters, as I think I mentioned last time, uh, having some shelters all around I think could be a good idea because these storms otherwise are going to be a real problem. Alright, well maybe we see what we can build with this stuff. Luckily there still are more plants and things right here by the base. And 
And let's see, we need our builder's hammer. And we're just gonna make a super simple structure, I think. Maybe we're not going to make a super simple structure. I I have a thought. So uh let's see, let's see. We want some stairs. And I think... We might put them there. And... I'll go ahead and just fill the rest of this foundation stuff out. And what do you know, we didn't have to scurry over to shelter. I am kind of shocked. Um, okay. And... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll have this bottom part covered. And the rest can be regular walls, I think. Actually, do we have triangular walls? I guess not. It'd be nice if we could just do triangular walls and like and include this as the walled in part, but that's okay. Um, we'll do our door frame. That's the outside. And a door. Uh, I think that way it works better. And then... We'll do more... Whoops. We'll grab that off in a sec. Um, a C for dismantle. There we go. And I need a new one here. So we'll have that. And then over here, I basically want us just to be able to kind of jump over from this structure so we can walk up from the ground and get on over. Although, can we just like, can we build just like, we're like this? That would be kind of nice. Or if we built stairs, yeah, that's a bit much. Okay. Maybe this one doesn't really work. Um, but then... I really wish we had more building materials right now. But what I think I'm gonna do, to make this feel relatively open, since I don't just have, like, supports or anything, we're just going to make this a bunch of doorways. And... Uh... <gasps> 
I can make it all weird. Okay, that's that's crazy. Um, all right, so we can do weird-looking torches. That's good to know. I'm going to throw a couple of these down. And then we need a roof. And let's maybe do this style this time. All right, so that has a roof. And... Yeah, and then we might do a similar type thing. Oh yeah, there's like chimney roofs too, which are really cool. Um, we could do a similar thing down here. Um, we're finally out of materials. What are we out of? Probably wood. Okay. Um, that means I probably can't build a bed either. Um, ba 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 ba. Bed, bed, bed. Simple bed. Yeah, I need six more wood. Well, I think there is wood very close by, so let's go grab it. Yes, right here. Our poor axe is going to need some serious love once we can get a workbench made. Well, that should be enough at least to get our bed. Yeah, I think this will be a nice little temporary shelter. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 tab. Let's bring this out. Let's make a bed. And we'll stick it right there for now. Um, and actually... That may do some weird things when we wake up. No, not too bad. Okay. Uh, we are very hungry, though. So, let's just eat a bunch of this stuff. And then let's see how much walls we can wrap up here. All right, so there's all of our walls. And then I'm curious if this will work. All right, so if we do that, I think this would be the next. Okay, it's gonna clip a little bit. not bad it basically works so yeah if like this is our other room yeah so you can come in here you come up here then you can hop basically onto that and come on out that away so two kind of airy spaces just for fun I guess and then one sheltered spot in here for a bed and we could go ahead, if we really want to, and put, like, some, uh, crafting stations in here. 
Um, what else do we need for a workbench? Uh, a little bit of wood and a little bit of resin. That's really easy to find. Um, I mean, we're right on a tree. Resin should be basically everywhere. Where's my... Where's my... What's my fancy sense button again? Is that... Whoa, I can go first person. Ooh. Um... I don't remember what my fancy... Antenna radar is. Um... But that's okay. We don't really need it. Oh, there's a grasshopper right here, too. Um... Because there's resin right there. The grasshopper was leading us to it. Um, but we do need some more. Here's our wood. And a little more resin down here. Touch more wood as well, a little bit of fiber, and maybe we can throw a couple more torches on the place. But yeah, this will uh, this will be super nice as far as letting us um, have uh, a nice little shelter before going up and down the tree just for emergency purposes. Um, yeah, let's see here, and yeah, we can just throw it maybe in this corner. And then, let's see about, whoops, uh, a couple more torches. Throw one there, maybe, um, oh, insufficient materials, no. Uh, resin, it's gotta be wood. What does it take to make one? Yeah, wood and resin. Um, let's, let's see if we can get just a bit more. It'd be nice to throw a few more torches in. And then I think it'll be about time to wrap up for today. But we did at least, uh, get our goal done today of being able to chop some new stuff and exploring a tree. I may have been a bit of a fool going up the tree a crazy way at first, um, but, you know, we learned, and uh, <laughs> apparently there's a nice convenient platform for us to start from. Um, so that is good to know. Now whenever we're exploring new great trees, uh, we'll just walk around the base. Oh, oh, our torch broke. Jeez, that scared me. Um... But yeah, when we're exploring future great trees, uh, we can just walk around the base until we find that little platform. And uh, it is nice that once we make that climb once, we technically never have to make it again. Um, so long as we do always take the balloon up and down. So that is pretty neat. Um, all right. Let's get the good old hammer back out and see about throwing down some more torches. We can do that, and then let's throw just a couple right outside. Okay, and that is all we can do with the materials we have got. So, I, one of them is kind of inside the grass just a little bit, but that is okay. But hey, that is not a bad little start to a more permanent base right there. Um, I am pretty darn pleased. Um, I think using the, the slightly different roof style here is also a lot of fun. Um, definitely got a odd 
different looking texture there, I think just because of the way that the lighting is going, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited to be able to, like, build a base, and then we can, like, move our base around if we end up, uh, for example, uh, like, I think we saw another great tree, like, somewhere right over here, um, and I know that there's another one, uh, we saw, I think somewhere maybe down this way, so it's like, if we're, if we're doing a ton of stuff, maybe down here by Scatty, uh, we could literally just move our whole base over here. If we're doing a bunch of stuff by Drustana, we could literally just move our base up here. Like, that's so cool. So, um, honestly, we could just build something like this, just kind of a crude little shelter. Um, I mean, this is probably a little bit more elaborate than a crude shelter. But, um, you know, just build, build ourselves a little kind of welcome station um, at the base of a tree. And then that way, whenever we decide to... Um, decide to kind of move base. Oh, that's not the proper way to go. Um, it'll also be nice when we can just, like, build some railings and stuff. Um, that, you know, we can just walk on out here and I'm guessing just talk to the gnome here, say, hey, we're moving base, and, uh, then head on up. So, with that, um, I think... We are done for today. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, um, doing some, uh, more resource gathering and, uh, some tree exploration, um, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys left a like on the video. Helps me out and helps the videos to get, uh, found by more people on YouTube. Um, otherwise, make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, so you can find the next episode, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all soon for some more Small Land. See ya!